Hey guys, it's DIY by Albert. And in this video here today, I'm gonna to show you how to protect the rocker panel of your Tesla Model 3 using paint protection film. So there's been plenty of images circulating that the rocker panels on these cars tend to get blasted. And this is something that I wanna prevent and keep my car looking as new as possible. Um, the so the basic material required for this is a roll of bulk cut paint protection film and you can use either Expel, SunTech or the 3M Pro and in, and for me in this project here today I am going to be using the 3M Pro. The actual length required for this is actually around 8 feet so you can either use a 12 inch by 8 foot piece and you would be needing two of them or you'll be needing a single 24 inch by eight foot piece and you can be and you can just split that in half. For the purpose of my project here today, I'm going to be using an eight foot length of 24 inch wide paint protection film. And that's because I got this film locally pretty cheap from someone that had a leftover piece. So this product is going to cost me about $100 or so. Here we have the film taped onto the car. The bottom of the film is aligned with the bottom of the rocker panel as well as possible. The objective here is to trace the outline of the door in order for us to cut the film where required. Um, I'm tracing the outline with a sharpie which can then be removed with some isopropyl alcohol. On the other side of the car, I have completed the trace outline for you to see. Cutting the film is easy. All you need is a cutting pad and an X-Acto knife. However, I will be cutting the film half an inch wider than this line. And the reason is I want to wrap the outer part of the door sill, which is about half an inch in width. So once you line everything up, we're going to leave about, about half an inch into the door sill and begin to squeegee down. Corner here, we're gonna have to stretch the film a little bit. So pull it down, tack it, and continue stretching. One last thing about um, marking and installing the paint protection film. When you tape the paint protection film on the car to know where to mark and cut, the alignment does not have to be perfect with the bottom here. And the reason for that is if there is any, if there is any extra film, you can either tuck it underneath this black plastic if the gap is big enough, or you can carefully take a blade and make a cut across the bottom length. So, I'm finally done. Let's go and take a look. So it's a little bit hard to see on a white car and the amount of glare in the garage, but the top point of the film is pretty much where this crease is in the door, so it ends up looking pretty clean. Um, I had this 
wrapped into the, the door here, so it's gonna protect the inside of this from trip from the, the wheels. And as you can tell here, um, I ended up cutting the film about half an inch wider than where I marked it with the Sharpie. And this is just so that this edge here gets protected from your passengers or yourself walking into the car. Because with these doors, it's actually really easy to just nick this edge piece here when you're entering and exiting the car. So you might be wondering, what did I do with the film left over? Some people might wrap the lower part of the door up to the crease and the width of the film allows for that. I don't think it's really necessary, but only time will tell. I plan to use the centerpiece left over to wrap the headlights and the mirror caps. Stay tuned for another video and that's all for today folks.